we have so many interesting folks that come to us as students. So doctors, surgeons, uh, nurse practitioners, uh, physicians assistants. I mean, I've met a few of them. You've met all of them or presumably a lot of them. And, you know, I'm curious as to why you think it is that they choose to come to Saybrook for this mind-body medicine degree program or what one of our many programs, but I want to focus today on MBM. What, what, what are some of the reasons you hear from them? And then I guess kind of a quick follow-up to that is what are they doing with the degree? Where, where are they at with that? Well, some of those people are the same heroes I talked about because they've got a vision. You know, that's, it's, part of, it's part of their vision, and then they're going to go on to hold it for others, too. So um, I, 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 I don't think this is for the faint to take on a whole new territory. We're in new territory. You know, as, uh, but I was doing that, too. But when I was in my doctoral program, I remember one of my mentors told me that the job I was going to have hadn't been invented yet. Mm. And he was right. But all we need to do is look around us right now and see how quickly the world is changing and know that we need some innovative thinkers who can look at things differently and also appreciate that what we've been doing in many regards in healthcare has not worked so well. So, you know, if you're called to conventional medicine, there are many different routes for you to go down. But if you're called to innovate in a different sort of way, Sabrick offers something that is completely unique in our mind-body medicine program. That's great. That's great. And and so these physicians or healthcare practitioners who come from that space see us and find us. Where what are you seeing them doing in terms of scholarship and application? And you know, it depends on the individual. Some of them are taking what they have learned here, what they've researched here, and how they have developed, because this is a transformative program. And they're going out and they're introducing new programs. And some incredible examples of that out there right now. Others go back to their niche, whatever it was, be it a psychotherapist or an occupational th- or a massage therapist. But they're doing it much broader, bigger ways. They might be leading organizations while they're doing that. And then we're seeing also a change in our students as integrative medicine changes more and more to a shift to the individual learning how to take better care of themselves, more and more educators are coming to us. And I know just, Interesting. yeah, not just educators who are teach. I mean, I've got students who are teaching in primary school. I have those who are teaching in community colleges. And they want to take the work that they're doing as educators to a higher level. That really excites me. That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> 